Welcome to another installment of Talking with Heifers. Good morning, ladies. Yeah, they're just looking at a bucket. Hi, Hopey Dope. Now, that's really not fair. Because Sapphire's the biggest one in here. <laughs> and Hope is the smallest one. And the sad thing is, when were you born? Oh, well, Hope is a, exactly a month younger than Sapphire. But Hope had a little disadvantage. Anybody that doesn't know, poor Miss Hope here was out of a aged cow who uh, that's, but Hope has a few sisters still left around and nieces and nephews well nieces, no nephews um, Hope's mama we thought she went down with calcium deficiency and no, that wasn't it. Uh, big girl's kid there. That's a May 21st calf. Beside a February 18th calf. And neither one of them is mamas or slouches. But there's a reason her mama was called Big Girl. Anyway, poor Hope, since she's sneaking back up here a little. So she gets butted out. Um... Her mama was in the loafing shed, lower part of the center section, not far from a pole, and figured it was calcium deficiency. Vet come out, put a couple bottles of calcium in her, a couple other things. She tried to get up, couldn't. It's like, okay, well, you know, sometimes it takes a little while for the calcium to actually work, but that's what they say anyway. Our experience is... If that's what it is, as soon as there's enough calcium in their body, they stand right up and walk away. But anyway, um, we ended up having to lift her. Once we got her on her feet, she was moving just fine. And, well, we ended up lifting her again. <laughs> Lifted her a few times. Until we finally was in the right position when things finally did whatever they needed to do. She apparently had been butted, knocked into a pole, and blew the backside of her belly wall out. Blew it out between her leg and her udder. So it was one of those things you really didn't notice it until there was enough internals in the wrong place to literally shove the udder clear off to one side. And I think... No, maybe not. I thought it sounded like time might have been here, but somebody else going by. Ah, school bus. That's not what I heard the first time. So anyway, hope has been an orphan. And then we had a two-year-old who lost her calf during birth. Big, huge one. And Demner lost the two-year-old too. She decided she wanted to be a mommy, so we got Hope to cohabitate with her, and they paired up pretty good. But, you know, Hope went for over a month. She wouldn't take a bottle, no matter what we did. She went for over a month with no milk at all, right when she really needed it to be growing. So when she finally got milk again, was literally just about the time when you could have weaned her off a bottle. So obviously she's a little short, but she's here because of her background, because of her mommy, and pretty sure her grandmother, and you know probably a few more generations back. But anyway, I'm going to finish feeding these girls. And they're going to enjoy their breakfast. Aren't you, Sapphire? Yeah. Silly girls. Looks like we get to see the crack of dawn this morning. 
little late, but there's a crack over there showing some daylight. So Ty finally showed up this morning, and I was ordered to come to the house. Because, look what her new hey. trick is. <laughs> she might be making a mess. But she's eating 90% of it, dude. <laughs> and, of course, Ty handed her the spoon upside down. No, I didn't. No, she turned oh, it Oh, she turned, turned it over? I didn't catch her turning it over. She gets mad. I put it in. See, she puts it in. And I turn Big it over. girl. See, oh, she turns, turns it over. over. <laughs> yeah, she just turned it over so she can get it all off. Oh, I'm buy you a good spoon, huh? Oh, my baby, you're gonna she keeps me. getting pissed that I take it to get more on it. No, <laughs> let me see it. She no. flung it earlier. She's not getting pissed. She's excited. <laughs> oh, I get more. I get more. Oh, no. She was giving me the luck for the first three times. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Smile while she's eating. Is that good? Oh, and Rubble got let out this morning. And little Miss Laney crawled through the feeder this morning when I went up there to check. Yeah, opened the door, left the little main door open, turned around from the, got around the corner of the trailer, and I went, Shit. Ran back to the door, closed it, and she's on my ass, sticking her nose up my ass, thinking that I have a bottle for her, which she's been weaned for over a month now. Oh, is that nah, yummy? She just wanted to play with you because she's a bottle baby. See, tight, tight. I need more. So, it? there we go. Now you know. Uh, but she did to that have a point. really cute dress on. We just had to take it off for the time being. Yeah. Otherwise, it would be a very dirty dress. Yeah. Oh, yum. <laughs> I didn't even wait to take it away from you. Applesauce and oatmeal. Mmm, yummy! Oh, doesn't that look too yummy? We can have some soup! Yummy, 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 yummy! Oh, yum! That's probably a big enough bite. Nope, nope, she's gonna see if she can splatter me. So, I'm messing with this again. I unhooked my coax. I already tried swapping antennas at the other end of it. This is a brand new antenna. I just put this one on direct to the camera. She had to make me look at the calf. Um, 101.5 temp today. He's still got a big navel, but it's always going to be big. And, uh, we keep an eye on him. If he runs a temp again, he's going to get a little different treatment. But anyway, um, unplug this power. Unplug here. Plug it all back in. Then I swap these. And as I was putting the antenna on, or right when I finished putting it on, Becky said it came on for just a minute. So I think something internal went tits up. And the LEDs, that's infrared, and sensor, and a little sensor up here. And I tried covering, the infrared should kick on. Actually, this one should be movement sensor, which we don't use, but this one up above. You should be seeing those little LEDs in a red glow right now. So, I'm guessing it's something inside. I got two extras. So, I'm going to swap the camera. So, I took it in the shop. Plugged it in. While I was playing with it, while standing on the gate, if I unplugged it, or I did that connection there by my finger, I could hear the camera click. That's the power clicking on and off in it. But I could not get the infrared to come on. By the way, Becky's watching us at the moment. Um, went in the shop with the lights off, infrared came right on. I stepped out here because in the shop I didn't figure I'd get a signal to the trailer. Came out here, plugged it into this cord, called Becky, and she could see everything until just a minute ago. I was holding it right here, and I dropped my hand a little bit, and it clicked off, then came back on. So I'm going to put a new one up anyway. Hopefully it will pair up easily I mean, when you do these actually what I found is they come already paired but if you need to pair them there's a little button there you hold that button and I believe there's a button on the, on the, yeah monitor that you hold so I'm gonna grab a new one gonna pair it up then you'll see if I can get get 
in the right position to work. And I mean, who knows? It could be a problem with the little transformer. It could be a problem in the camera. But if it's all new, it shouldn't be an issue. Obviously, when we bought the last ones, which is this, they did a little changing. See the LEDs? They're the chips instead of the full diodes. Hmm. Either way, should ought to work. Other than that, they look the same. I wish the power cord came out of the housing here itself instead of out that mounting stem, but such is life. And yeah, that's the little antennas they come with. And we got one on the next pull down from the corner of the shop here that shows the house and the driveway and all that. See who's coming and going. It still has the short antenna on it, but it's a direct line of sight up to the monitors, so it's been okay. But that's one reason I got more long antennas. I just haven't tried to bust my butt and put a long one on it yet. But I'm going to see if I can get the mounting somewhat in orientation to that one, so at least I'll be halfway close when I put it in. But first thing i got to do is to get it paired with the monitor, and then probably spend five minutes trying to get it adjusted after I got it up there. That's fun. Standing on that gate where I can work on that just as a number on my back. <coughs> That's one reason I'm making tire on the skidster today. And then, of course, I'm doing this, making it even worse. Hey, you're right. It's not horizontal yet. Why? Because it ain't getting signal to the monitor yet. Um, I know the camera's working because infrared comes on when I cover everything. I don't know. I'm going to try. Oh, yeah, I think their bases are different than the old ones, too, because that hole lined up, and I went to go to that hole, and it didn't line up. It looks like it should, but it totally misses it. So, put it that way. But I think I'm just going to get another big antenna and put direct on. They're a bitch because all the plastic molded on them. The female thread part does not turn freely. Oh, let's see if I can fall off of here. Damn near. Um, does not turn freely of the antenna itself. So you got to kind of use Leatherman and hold on to the antenna and you know, what should take about two seconds takes about five minutes. I'm getting too old for this shit. Because I gotta literally squat all the way down to get around. <clears throat> and hey, we can look at her backside. 511C. Mom was in the barn earlier looking at the heifers. She mentioned 511C's calf from last year. She's a moose. Yeah. I believe she's the oldest calf over there, too. And I said, well, did you look at Sapphire? Who? 922G's calf. She goes, no. Well, I'm not sure which one's bigger, by the way. So I got a bale in there. She's done with that. Not uh, tackling in here because this will be an all-day project, no matter what. I don't know if we're going to use the spreader to try to move shit or not. I mean, it's almost more of a pain in the butt from here anyway. From the calf barn, it's far enough to make it worthwhile. But Anyway, i got to find me a, another antenna, put it on there, see if it'll work. What out again? Imagine that. It finally rained. Hailed for quite a while while we were eating lunch and then rained. And now it quit. Get a bale up on the deck. Ty's already got it on the skid steer, but I gotta turn it a quarter turn so she can do something with it once it's up there. And still having trouble with that camera. It came on. It's just got a long antenna on that new camera again. Made contact for 
probably five minutes and it hasn't made contact since. And for the life of me, by where that ladder is, I have no idea why it won't work there unless one of those cables is bad. Which, you know, cheap Chinese stuff, you never know. So I think we're going to get a bail up and I'm going to pull those cables out and test them. And kind of go from there, I guess. I got more cable in there. I could bring it up, put it up there in the top of that opening up above. Might do that. I can use one of those other cables, move that other antenna up to the same point. We'll see. I don't know yet. I really don't. I just know it's getting frustrating. You know, worked pretty good for so long and lately not working. And But you never know how the signal goes. It's like, you know, like television signal or a Wi-Fi signal or... Uh, it is a Wi-Fi signal. Duh. Um, you know, television, radio. Somebody does a 40 gig clear cut in the right spot. You no longer have TV or radio. It's all on what it's bouncing off of. And all I can figure is, with just an antenna on that camera down below, that maybe the signal bounces off bin 7 and runs up. Because if I move the monitor from where they're at, I lose this other one too, so I kind of wonder if it isn't bouncing off there and coming up. It's coming through the window next to where I sit. That's really all I can figure. But, yeah, it's what it is. I get much closer, you two will have a fit. There's two of them plastic mouse traps there. That's a mouse butt sticking up in the tail. He's caught in the one that you can see. And right on the other side of that tray is the other one that his head is in. Interesting. That one was there. This one was turned was right at the edge of that board, turned that way. They were like five inches apart. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, and that freaking camera still ain't working. We moved the antenna over by that hit gate. Figuring, okay, because I looked up stuff on the intercourse web and said if you got two cameras too close together, they interfere with each other. And yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm thinking I ain't got to do it today. Late enough today, time's already gone anyway. And I'd, I'd need somebody to run the elevator. Um... I'm thinking that uh, I have to waste one of these 50-foot cables to replace the 30-foot, because the 30-foot makes it over there nicely. But I'm thinking go up top of the doorway and go right there. That's the only thing I can figure that's going to work, because unfortunately where it is, I mean, it's got to go through everything in the yard to get the signal through. And the one works 95% of the time or better. That one just isn't doing it. And one from a turdy pin is, yeah, around the corner down there. It works 95% of the time. One show in the yard works pretty much 100% of the time. But they're all out far enough that they're direct line. So, I don't know. Just got to figure out how to do it. But, think around in here for a little bit. Go in and it's just about time to uh, upload a video. Sorry, this is a freaking long one, but it's one of those days. I guess I gabbed too much in the beginning. I have to shorten down that heifer talk. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you all had a great Thursday, and I hope everybody has a great Friday.